So I uh, will be asked how to approach the patient with moderate to severe or high risk uh, Crohn's disease. And I think these patients really, uh, in my mind, require biologic therapy. The studies that have looked at azathioprine uh, with a tapering course of steroids have really not shown much effect for uh, either maintaining or inducing uh, remission. And uh, so I really think that biologics are the, the critical step and the important questions become, is it an anti-TNF biologic, an anti integrin biologic, an anti interleukin 12 biologic, and will I co-administer the biologic with an immune suppressive or not? We often think about what the goals of uh, treatment will be, and um, to my way of thinking, the goals of treatment are relatively similar, whether you're looking at uh, mild to moderate Crohn's disease or the moderate to uh, severe uh, uh, and high-risk patient, and that's to get the patient into a clinical or symptomatic remission and to heal the mucosa. And you know, so those will be the short-term and intermediate-term goals, and then in the longer term, what you're seeking to do is prevent the uh, Crohn's disease from progressing to complications of stricture, fistula, and abscess, to prevent the patient from being hospitalized, to prevent the patient from needing uh, frequent courses of steroids, to prevent the patient from requiring a surgical resection, and eventually to uh, help the patient maintain a, maintain a normal quality of life and to avoid uh, disability. People sometimes ask you know, how the, the treatment of Crohn's disease has changed in the 20 plus years that I've been in practice. And I would say that the biggest evolution has been to uh, go from relying solely on the patient's symptoms as an outcome measure to incorporating uh, endoscopic healing or colonoscopy healing using a so-called uh, treat to target strategy. I'm sometimes asked how does uh, my treatment approach differ during the induction and the maintenance phases. So during induction, uh, patients uh, may uh, often need steroids to really uh, fully manage their symptoms in the short term. Uh, sometimes there's differences between uh, patients and how rapidly they will clear a biologic after administration. So some patients with high disease activity will need fairly intensive dosing of a biologic in order to uh, achieve a sufficient drug concentration to induce uh, remission. Um, so induction for me is often uh, steroids, a biologic, and a, a immune suppressive such as azathioprine, uh, seeking to achieve colonoscopy healing somewhere in the four month or so range and to achieve symptom, con symptom control within uh, a matter of uh, weeks. In the long term, of course, you want to wean off the steroids and completely discontinue them. Uh, if you've gotten the patient into remission, usually the, the uh, high clearance state of the biologics will settle and you can use a, a less intensive uh, biologic uh, dosing regimen. Uh, we will frequently employ therapeutic drug monitoring to ensure we've got the dosing of the biologic just right. It's controversial whether patients who've gone into a full remission including mucosal healing should continue uh, uh, an immune, immune suppressive such as azathioprine along with the biologic over the long term. My general approach is to continue combination therapy in the longer term as long as the patient isn't high risk with respect to the immune suppressive therapy and is uh, not in the elderly uh, phase of their life. But you know, patients sometimes will just choose to go to monotherapy, so it's not a one-size-fits-all situation.